Hi everyone! So I know it's been a while, I just got home from work and I decided to film a video today because I finally got my PSA results! Through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven, I passed and this was an exam I thought I was really going to fail just because I was on call so much the weeks leading up to the exam so I really wasn't able to prepare. So if you're an IMG or an international medical graduate wondering what the PSA is, PSA stands for Prescribing Safety Assessment. It's basically a 200 question exam that goes on for two hours that tests your ability to safely prescribe medications. It's usually taken during the fifth year of medical school here in the UK, but if you're an international medical graduate, we usually take it during F1. And as long as you pass it before the completion of your foundation year one, you won't have any problems getting your ARCP. When I applied through the eligibility office, no one was talking about the PSA, so I didn't even know that we, there was an exam like this. And once I learned that I had to take this exam, I was wondering, how do I book it? The answer is, you don't. Because your trust should be able to organize and arrange everything for you. So you don't have to pay for anything. You just have to tell your trust, your foundation school, once you are employed, that you haven't taken your PSA yet and they should be able to arrange it for you. Someone from the PSA team should be emailing you when your exam will be and where it's going to be. So in terms of timeline, how long should I study for this exam? I've seen people study for this for a month other people don't revise at all, so it really depends. So to be safe, I would say two weeks, at least two weeks, especially if you're an international graduate and you are not used to the systems of prescribing here, which is a bit different. What about the resources? There are only three main things that I use. Number one is a book called Pass the PSA. So this is a very easily understandable book, but I found that the questions are actually easier on the book compared to the actual exams. So I would recommend just read through it, practice the questions just to get used to the different sections of the exam and how the questions are presented. Second resource is the official PSA website. So once they register you for the exam, you should have an account with the PSA website and they have, I think, four practice assessments that you can take. Just went through them once because I didn't have time but it was really helpful in the sense that you get used to the interface of the website, it's timed, and it's quite similar to the exam, although I found the exam much harder. Third resource is Anki flashcards. You guys know how I like to use them just because it's great for active recall. So while I was just scanning through the past PSA book, if there's something that I wanted myself to remember, an important thing about drugs or something like that, I would make flashcards even based on the practice assessment. If there's like conversion stuff that would save me a lot of time, I made them into flashcards. I tried to flip through them when I was traveling and whenever I could. So since there are a lot of things that I didn't do because I didn't have time, what were the things that I wish I did? So number one thing that I really wish I did was watch sketchy farm this is a series of videos on pharmacology i used it when i was in med school and it really helped me remember things about different drugs so i wish i had time to watch all of them or even just topics where i'm weak at secondly i wish i took more time in focusing on the calculation parts i know it's only a small section of the exam but it's an important part and if you're great at math it's easy points so that's the overview of the exam that's how i prepared and if you have any questions you know you can just pop them anytime on the comment box below and I will try my best to answer them and if there's anything else that you want me to discuss please pop them down below and I will try to make more videos. Thank you for watching and goodbye.